Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Rachel Boot at Aligned Movement Studios in Courtney, and I'm gonna be working on my reformer today. So I have a quarter spring, a white spring set up. My foot bar is at the bottom, and we're gonna be using our doweling today. So I have my doweling ready to go in my straps. Hi, I'm Shane, I'm at my home studio here. I've got my Cadillac set up. I've got my push through bar that we're going to be working on. Um, same as Rachel, I've got my dowel separate for some exercises. And then I've got some separate quarter springs for some work and twisting work that we're going to do. And a head cushion. And Shannon's going to tell us about her setup. Hi, I'm Shannon Green from Pilates on the Lake in Black Creek, and I'm going to be doing our workout on the mat. So what I have for today is two pretty strong TheraBands or Flex Bands tied to something very sturdy that you cannot pull. And also to have a wooden dowel. If you don't have a dowel, feel free to use a broomstick. The other thing is that we're going to be putting our feet on the dowel, so if you have socks, it might find it a bit slippery, so either have a little gripper or have bare feet. And if you also need a pillow for your head to support, you can grab that as well. Okay, so I'm going to start us off today. So with your dowel, you are going to, if you're on the mat, you're going to slide it through the loops of your hair bands, or flex bands. And those guys will put them through the loops of their handles on the reformer and the catalog. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall right onto your sit bones with your legs out stretched. Um, you're going to just find enough tension on the band, so you might have to walk yourself away or closer to wherever it's tied onto. So have a little bit of resistance here, but now we're just going to take a nice breath in. We're going to breathe in, expand into your ribs, and then exhale, release. So as you breathe in, feel how your ribs expand, and you almost kind of take up a little bit of slack off of the band, and then exhale. Yeah, and we'll go a couple more breaths. Just give yourself a moment to get centered. And again, feeling nice and tall, a little energy coming out of the top of your head, a little grounding through your heels and your feet. Okay, so then from here with your arms outstretched in front of you, not too high, we're going to take a breath and we're going to draw those shoulder blades together in the back for some root traction. And then exhale, let those shoulders widen around your rib cage as they rotate forward, and then again, inhale, drawing the shoulder blades together, and exhale, so our shoulder scapular protraction and retraction. Just being mindful that you're keeping your rib cage nice and connected. And again, inhale, draw them together, exhale, widen them apart, and again. We'll finish this last one, and then we'll add just a little bit of a pelvic curl. So just have a little bit of resistance in your shoulder blades. Not so much that you're in full retraction, but just to have some connection there, we're going to take a breath. We're going to exhale. It's going to roll off of those sit bones, rolling back just slightly, just a little bit of a pelvic curl to start with. We'll go into our full row backs in a moment. Then take a breath. Exhale. Curl that pelvis. Feel like pubic bones are up towards your belly button. Keep some life within that upper body. You bring yourself back forward. Begin inhale, exhale, roll yourself back. And come back in. And one more time. Small little pelvic curl just to start here. And then roll back. So roll up. Now we're going to add the whole roll back here. So again, have some integrity with those shoulder blades. Feel some energy and lift of the upper body. Take your breath. Exhale, start with that pelvic curl and start to roll yourself down. 
Okay, then take a breath at the bottom here, really expand your ribs, and then exhale, feel like you can draw those ribs down to sort of pull yourself back up. Right. And again, exhale, start to roll yourself down. Take a breath at the bottom, and then exhale, start to curl yourself all the way forward, and then stack yourself all the way back up to neutral. Good. And again, exhale, start to roll. Hold at the bottom. Exhale, start to curl yourself forward. Get right up onto the sit bone and come back up to neutral. One more time, exhale, roll. Good, take a breath and roll yourself back up. Now in this next one, we're gonna add some chest pulls. So we're gonna just draw the dowel in towards our chest once we roll down. So again, take a breath. Exhale, start to roll from that pelvis. Once you get down here, take an inhale. Then exhale, you're gonna bend your elbows, pull the bar into your chest. You're gonna stay here and just do some chest pulls. Pull it in and exhale. Keep that life of that upper body so you're not just sagging. Good, pull. Okay, let's go two more times. And this time we'll pull in and then we'll release it and then we'll do that same curl forward and stack right up onto our sit bones. Okay, so from here we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna add it, we're gonna do the chest pull with an added upper body thoracic extension. So again, right up onto our sit bones, we're gonna pull the dowel in towards our chest as we lift our chest towards the ceiling. And then exhale, return. So let's do this on an inhale. So we're going to inhale, draw the dowel as we lift your chest up towards the ceiling. And exhale, release. Inhale, pull, lift. Exhale, release. One more time, pull it in towards your chest. And lift. And release. Okay, so now we're going to add all of those exercises together. So we're going to do a roll down with a chest pull, and then we're going to roll ourselves up into the extension. Okay, so here we go. Take a breath, inhale to prepare. Exhale, so to roll off that pelvis, rolling down. Take a breath, pull the dowel in towards your chest. Exhale, so to curl yourself up, and as you release the dowel, you're going to lift your chest into the extension. Nice. Take a breath. Exhale, switch to roll yourself down. Pull that dowel in. Exhale, curl yourself up, releasing the dowel and going into extension. Nice. And here we go again. And curl up into extension. Good. Feel like you can keep your heels grounded into the floor, especially as you roll yourself back up, giving yourself that little bit of extra lift for your body. And one more time. Curl, release, and lift. Beautiful. So we're going to change our hand position on the dowel so that your palms are going to be facing up towards the ceiling. And we're going to do some lovely biceps. So, sitting right up onto your sit bones again, depending on how much tension you want and how far you'll be away from the bands. So, from here, you're going to keep your wrist nice and long and your upper, upper arm parallel to the floor. Take a breath, exhale, bend those elbows. Again, try not to break your wrist, keep your wrist nice and long. Have a little bit of energy into those heels. Lift up through the chest, out of the top of your head. So as you're bending your elbows, the rest of your body is not moving. And let's go two more times. And one more. And release. Awesome. So now I'm going to pass you guys off to Shane. Hey, thanks, Shannon. Uh, so we're in the same sitting position. Um, we're going to do uh, a twist with a lean. So we're adding a little bit of rotation. I'm going to hold on to uh, the dowel or my push-through bar with my left hand. 
I'm sitting up nice and tall on my sit bones. And my right hand is just floating out in front of me. Okay, chest is lifted, shoulder blades are set. Okay, I'm gonna take an inhale here and start my rotation to the right. I'm gonna lean over to my back corner. I'm looking at my lean, my left hip is off. Okay, my legs are straight. I've got three pulses, three, two, one. I come back onto my sit bones, rotate back to the front. Okay, now I'm gonna switch hands, go over to the left side. On the inhale, left arm rotates, rib cage turns. Reach to your back corner of your mat and pulse for three, two, one. Come back onto the sit bone. Rotate back to the front. Let's do that one more time on each side. So sitting up nice and tall, spine is long. Rotate on the inhale. Exhale, lean to the back corner. Pulse three, two, one. That hip back down. Rotate to the front. And last time over to the left. Inhale, rotate and lean. Pulse for three. Two, one, come back onto the sit bones, rotate back to the front, and take a break. Good. Okay, moving on to the next exercise. We're gonna do a side twist kneeling. I'm gonna take my dowel and rope. Shannon's got her. Flexman and Rachel's all set up here. Okay, so your kneeling position, knees are hip distance apart, they're stacked, shoulders are square to the front. Your, keep your hips square to the front, but rotate your rib cage over to your spring to start. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, you're rotating away from the spring and returning, okay? So glutes and hamstrings are working to stabilize your hips. And you're just rotating your rib cage, initiating with the obliques. Just be conscious of where that dowel is. Keep it centered between your shoulder blades, right center in your chest. Okay, we've got two more here, two. And last one. Good. Now set yourself up on the other side. Okay. So the same thing, you're on your knees, your hips are stacked, glutes and hamstrings are engaged. Nice long spine. You've got your left hand on top towards the springs and you're starting rotated towards the springs. Elbows are soft in a semicircle. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, rotating away from the springs, initiating with the obliques. Good. Use your exhale to rotate. Keep your eye line looking at the dowel. Keep it centered in the body. Rib cage is rotating. We've got two more. And last one. Good. Return to center. You can take your dowel out of your spring. Okay. Next, we're going to move back to the push through bar for me. We're going to lay supine. We're going to do some. Um, trapeze exercises we're calling them. So leg exercises. We've got bend and stretch in parallel position to begin with. Okay, so take a minute, get your head cushion. I'm going up to um, one and a half springs for this. Okay. Sorry, I just have to bring mine down. I want to touch. I want my springs at full height. And you just want to be careful getting in and out because the straps are loose on your dowel and you just want to make sure that they're a little stabilized as you get in. Okay. 
Absolutely. So you've got your toes curled on the bar and <laughs> you've got your pelvic in a neutral position. You're starting in tabletop. Again, feet are parallel. Arms for myself. I can hold on to the, the frame of the Cadillac if I like, or if arms just down by your by by your side. Okay. So we're just going to begin at 90. We're going to do a bend and stretch. Inhale here. Exhale, extend legs. So the challenge here is trying to work equally on both sides. The springs are making um, things a little bit wobbly. So you're engaging your glutes to extend your legs. Nice, we've got two more here. And one. And hold it out. Legs are long in your diagonal. You're gonna transition into lift and lower. Okay, so legs are gonna float up on the inhale to vertical, and on the exhale, lower down to your diagonal. Do it again. Inhale, legs floating up toward the ceiling. Exhale, extend those legs long. Good. Load them up, sacrum is heavy on the carriage, and reach. So maintaining a neutral pelvis as long as you can. The last two. And last one. Hold your legs in the diagonal, okay? Transitioning to, to bicycle, so adding that Bend and stretch, so bend your knees in. On the exhale, extend those legs up toward the ceiling and cycle down through the diagonal. Drag those heels across the carriage, extend the legs up. There you go. Inhale to initiate, exhale to finish. So you can challenge yourself by lowering your legs closer to the floor, closer to the carriage. We've got two more going this direction. Last one. Good, and then change your direction. Legs float up towards the ceiling, bend in, rise for the, those heels, bend them long. Nice fluid circles. And last two. And last one. Good. You can bend your knees in, take your feet out of the strap, drop the dell, and you're gonna now hold with your with your hands, and we're gonna do a mid-back series. Okay, so for myself, I just have to adjust a little bit so I have the right amount of tension. I'm going to get down to just one spring. Okay. And the first one, we're going to have arms straight down. So I'm going to have my knees. I can have them either in tabletop position or flat on the on the mat. If your arms are coming right down to your your thighs, you're going to need a little bit of room. Okay, so shoulder blades are set into the carriage. You're in the neutral pelvis. Inhale here, exhale, straight arms are coming down and return. That's it. So Rachel's up in tabletop and we've got our feet down on the carriage. Nice. Last two. Last one. Now, changing it up, you're going to bend at the elbows. I'm going to bring my knees up to tabletop position. I'm going to imprint my lower back. Okay. I'm going to add work triceps in the arms with the leg extension. Okay. I'm going to keep my head down for this. Extend the legs, extend the arms. Bend the elbows, bend the legs.
Good. So arms are just hovering, elbows are hovering off the carriage. Nice. Last two. Last one. Hold it in here. Take a little break. Okay. Our last one, we're going to do the hundreds. Um, of course, we've got some modifications here. If you want to keep your head down, go ahead. If you prefer to do it up in flexion, I'm going to go with that. And we're going to do knees bent on the inhale and extended on the exhale. Okay? So let's bring our knees up into the tabletop. Inhale here, drop the chin to the chest, exhaling up into flex position and inhale here, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three. Four eighty. Inhale two, four five. Exhale two, three four ninety. Last ten. Exhale two, three four hundred. Bend your knees, lower your head. Whew. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put my head down halfway. Okay. So take a breather. You can um, sit up. We're gonna. Transition into a lean exercise. So come on to your knee, knees facing the carriage. Um, hey Shane. Yeah. I'm gonna shorten my straps. Um, I actually also shortened my straps for the facing the um, pulley system at the beginning, and then lengthen them for the for the the lying down stuff. Excellent. Yeah. And gauging the resistance you need for these exercises. We've got the straps that Rachel's working with, and I've got the spring tension, so I'm just moving forward and back of that. Okay. So I'm actually going to bring my pull from high above for this exercise. Okay. So we start up on your knees. Again, hips are stacked over your knees, glutes are engaged, hamstrings, chest is lifted, rib cage is engaged, abdominals are, are firing. Okay, and we're just going to keep a vertical spine here and we're just going to lean back. So we're keeping at the knees. And for me, I'm, I'm, I've got some resistance in my. Uh, in my arms, so I'm using my shoulder blades to stabilize. So I'm not changing my upper body. I'm just bending at the knee. I've got a good quad stretch, and it's a nice stretch opening up the hips. Good. Keeping your chin level. And back. Again, you go down as far as you can maintain this position. And last two here. And last one. Good. Okay, you can let go of that bar. Grab the dowel for a mermaid exercise. <clears throat> Okay, so I've got my right leg in front, I'm holding the dowel in my left hand. Pelvis is vertical upright, arms just down by your sides. Okay, the inhale, reach your arm up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, laterally flexing over to the right. 
Inhale, reach it up towards the ceiling and bend your elbow to return, okay? So inhale, arm reaches up, exhale, flex over to the side. Stay down here, this time add a rotation. Come back through and then just lift your hips, rotating towards the ceiling. Arm reaches up towards the ceiling and return. Okay, let's do that one more time on this side with the rotation. Inhale, arm reaches up, exhale, laterally flex over to the side. Getting lots of length, both sides, rotate over towards the mat, still keeping your pelvis vertical. Back through center and rotate the chest, lifting up towards the ceiling, soften that right elbow, reach your arm up towards the ceiling and return. Good. If you stay facing, just switch hands, switch your legs. Now we've got left leg in front, holding the dowel in the right hand. Left hand's just down on the mat. Here we go. Inhale, arm reaches up towards the seating, shoulders down. Exhale, laterally flex over the side, lengthen, reach that bar over to the side. I'm just staying straight for this one. Reach that dowel up towards the ceiling and return. Okay. This time adding the rotation. Inhale, arm reaches up. Exhale, laterally flex over. Rotate your chest towards the mat. Come through center and rotate, lift your chest towards the ceiling. And reach that dowel up, lengthen the spine and return. Okay, last one with the rotation. Inhale, arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Exhale, laterally flex over. Inhale, rotate up. And exhale through center. Inhale, lift the chest towards the ceiling. Arm reaches up to restack, lift out the top of the head and return. Good, I'll pass it on to Rachel for some standing exercises. Hey, it's me. Okay, so I'm taking my resistance back down to a quarter spring. So this is, this is a challenging standing series. Um, we're challenging balance, but also hip internal and external rotation. Okay, so like I said earlier, I did shorten my straps just so I have a little bit better um, grip through those straps. Um, and you can sort of adjust the resistance based on how far or close you are to your, whatever your pulley system gives you. So we're gonna start standing, okay? And, and just hold your strap for a second. So before you, um, before you use the resistance, let's just get the movement. Hold that strap or let it lay down. We're gonna place the dowling beside us so that it's a little bit of a balance for us. So let's take the leg that's closest to the pulley system and stretch it out. Okay, so the standing leg is long and strong. We've got some activity up and out of that standing hip. Now we're gonna just sort of draw a little figure eight. So take your extended knee across, turning it in, and then turn that knee out, and then send it all the way back out to the side. So option to keep the toe sort of very close to the ground. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit more challenging if you hover it up, but it turns in, it turns out, and then it extends long. So ultimately, our pelvis will follow the movement a little bit, but we're trying to isolate that movement into our hip socket. So let's give that a go with the strap. So the strap's gonna go over your ankle. Okay, and then you're gonna do a little weight tester. So how heavy is your resistance? So with that leg sent out or long, you have, you're just sort of starting to meet the resistance here. It just has a little bit. Okay, the leg is just slightly in front of you. We're gonna get up nice and long and strong. So take a breath in. On your exhale, we're gonna draw that extended leg in and across. Inhale, rotate it out and lengthen it long. Find your balance and hold. Look up through that standing leg. And exhale across, inhale open and extend it long. I'm gonna move away a tad bit more. And again, exhale and inhale and extend it out one more time. Exhale, and inhale, and send it long. Stay with this variation if that's what you need for balance. 
we're gonna transition to hover across your chest, elbows are down, collarbones are wide, find your balance and exhale. Inhale and send it out. A little harder without that balance point, right? Exhale, always an option. Go back to the downline on the floor if you need it. One more time here. And send it long. Arms overhead if you want another challenge. Soften the shoulders. Press down through your standing leg. Exhale and inhale and reach. And again, exhale and inhale and lengthen. One more time like this. Exhale, inhale and lengthen. Hold this length. Rotate your chest away from the pulley system. Inhale, bring your chest back to square. And then we're gonna rotate. Exhale, inhale. And then as you extend the leg, rotate your chest away. Inhale, come back to center. Rotate the knee. Let's go two more times like this. Exhale, inhale, reach. And exhale, rotate. One more time, inhale, come back. Exhale, full body rotation, balance, and stability, and rotate it away. This time, come back to center. Put that extended leg down just so that you have a little bit of balance. Dowling can go onto the floor, and we're going to pivot ourselves towards or away, towards the dowling, away from the pulley system. Get up nice and tall, hover that back leg off, and flex that foot deeply. The ankle flexes, toe pulls up. So, legs, both legs are parallel. Get nice and tall through the front body and let's pulse that back leg up. So feeling the back leg pull up into that hip, finding stability through those abdominals. Go five, four, three, two, one, hold. Now on your exhale, find that deep hip flexion and draw your knee forward. Inhale, extend it back and lengthen through front body. Exhale, oh my standing leg's getting tired, come up. Inhale to send it back. So three more. Exhale and pull. Inhale to send it back. And two. And reach. And one more. And lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Just place that foot down behind you. Step your front foot forward a little bit more. Let's find a squeeze through that back loop. Same arm as back leg reaches up. Just get a little opening through the front of that hip. Take a nice big breath in. Take some breaths. And then let's come up. Okay, so we'll lose. We gotta do all that on the other side. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna switch legs. So I am going to have to turn away. So I'm gonna be facing away. Oh, we're all gonna be facing away. I'm down. Okay, so that strap goes over the other ankle. Okay, the dowling goes on the floor, and you're going to adjust yourself so that you just have a little bit, just starting with a tad of resistance in the extended leg. The standing leg is pressing down, and we're lengthening our spine up. So find some response to that standing glute. Okay. Soften the neck and shoulders. We're going to start to draw the little figure eight. So exhale, draw the knee across. Inhale, send the knee out and lengthen the leg long. Exhale, draw the leg across. Inhale, open, send it long. Let's go two more times here. Exhale, inhale, send it up. Eyes right here. Don't look down, look forward. One more time for good luck. Exhale, inhale, send it long. Stretch it out. So keep it down on the floor if you need to, or bring it up in front of your chest. Allow the collarbones to get wide and the spine to get long. Exhale, draw it across. Inhale, send it out and lengthen it long. Exhale, across two. Inhale, and lengthen it long. And three, and out. Two more, four. Pressing through the standing leg, up through the spine, last one. Send it long. Now, if you'd like the extra challenge, soften the shoulders and reach the dowling overhead. Exhale, cross it over. One. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, cross it over. Two. Inhale, send it up. And three. And four. One more. Exhale, five. Hold it out to the side. Now, row 
rotate your upper body away from that extended leg. Back to center, let's add the twist. Exhale across, inhale to open, exhale, rotate away. Lift up, spiral your body away from the floor. Back to center, exhale, inhale, reach and rotate. One more, exhale, inhale, reach and rotate. Come back to center. Organize yourself dowling on the floor and then pivot your standing leg to face your dowling. Okay, make any adjustments. Square up your pelvis, both legs are parallel. Flex the back foot, lengthen the legs, lengthen the spine, and a little pulses up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Roll that back hip forward and 1. So, here we are, take a breath in, exhale, pull that back leg, deeply flex with that hip as that knee comes forward, inhale to send it back and away. And again, exhale, draw it forward. Inhale, send it back. And exhale, good. Go three more, three. And two. <laughs> and last one. Good, so we're gonna put the back foot down. Step the front foot forward, bend to the that front leg. Find a little left or back glute here. Squeeze the back glute. Send the same arm as the leg up towards the ceiling. So put the same arm as back leg up. Now lift the chest, press the pelvis forward, opening up through that hip. Take a nice big breath in and out. One more. And then we're going to step ourselves back. Okay, so let's un unstrap those legs. The down, you can just rest away. All right, so we're going to bring our feet to hip distance apart and parallel. Let the arms rest at your side, palms facing the sides, knees of the path. Let's take a breath in. Roll those arm bones out and lift the chest towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, start to soften the head and shoulders. Let them relax. Roll yourself down. Find your articulation through the spine and nice softness through the knees. Take a breath in. Then press the feet into the floor. Feel your tail thread down towards the floor as you roll your spine back up when you get to the top. Let's do a nice big juicy inhale. Open the chest. Exhale, soften the head and shoulders. Start to roll it forward and forward and forward. Let everything just hang in the center. Big breath in. Press the feet into the floor. Fire up through those legs. Thread your tail down. Scoop your belly and uncurl the spine. Let's do one more open chest lift. And let it go. We're going to step our feet wider here. Okay, so you need like a slight, slight turnout through those legs. Okay, hands are going to go onto your pelvis, and we're just going to start to circle our pelvis. So think about a little pencil on the bottom of your tail, and just gently draw the circle. Not a circle like a tuck tail or squeeze, anything. This does not work, but just relief. So allow the pelvis to just mobilize around the hip joint, the knees are soft, and then reverse that circle. <clears throat> One more time, and rest in center. So let's turn those legs out a little bit more. We're gonna bend the, this leg. I'm gonna, you guys are bending your left, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Then once we've done that, I want you to swing your tail. So let your tail follow that movement, and take your hands towards that bent knee. So my tail is swinging towards my bent leg side, getting a little opening through the inside of my leg and hip, taking a nice big breath in. Then we'll come back to center, pelvis and leg. So we're going to start to bend the other leg. And then swing the tail in that direction, opening up the line of that other leg, or other hip, sorry. Taking a nice big breath in. And then slowly bring yourself back up to nice and tall. So from here, hands on your hips again. We're going to bend both legs. Okay. And then what from here, let's just do our little tail wag here, one side and the other. Just again, trying to sort of create a little space in the hips. And then we're going to do a little forward fold. Walk your hands to your legs. 
Taking a nice big breath in, sinking into the hips. Roll your feet forward, let your head hang down. Stretch your legs. Nice, easy roll up. Start to walk your feet a little closer. Find a nice softness through the legs and allow yourself just to spiral. Letting go of any tension through the spine, through the shoulders, through the chest and the neck. Back to center. Walk your feet underneath you. Find your beautiful tall standing position. Take one big breath in, the whole length of the body. Ground yourself through your feet. Shine your energy out through the crown of your head and have an awesome day. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for talking. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.